as I promised to Faris the mechanic, we're gonna clean more now. Yeah. It's really good to prevent rust to come back again. remember where well, in 1937 uh, there were still Franco supporter inside the town not so many and they resist a lot under the attack of the Republicans so it kind of became a symbol yeah, for the, uh, the civil war and let's say the resistance of uh, Franco supporter so that's the story behind this Pueblo Sometimes with Google Maps we don't get what we would like, so we were supposed to be nearby a lake and if you see down there it's not really a lake, I mean if you see there it's almost dry and um, I didn't saw these from Google Maps from the satellite, so and anyway the, it's a dirt road and Easy to go down, probably not very easy to come back. But anyway, this will be the place for the night. It's pretty nice. I mean, it's even if we are not near by the water, I will probably take a walk down. It's suggestive, as you can see. That's, that's a nice place where to spend the night. Wonder now. Oh, I'm kill myself. Down at what well, it's supposed to be a lake, and I was thinking, when a lake goes dry, where are all the fish goes. really fascinating and I was just chatting with Mel and thinking about my life and the lifestyle we choose how happy makes us and how lucky we are 
you know, finding the way to work online remotely and be able to work from pretty much anywhere. You know, compared to a static life, depends on how many days of holidays you got, but you go for the sightseeing, that place, that place, and I was thinking how many people I have the chance to see place like this because I can tell you I prefer a hundred times a place like this one surrounded by silence and then Barcelona for example don't get me wrong it's a nice town but I mean this place give me just more yeah it's just it's just real it's beautiful not really good I just saw a fish jumping there something that I would like to say to fishermen you know you enjoy nature you take from nature and that's okay just don't leave plastic and the cans just you know it's pretty easy you take a plastic bag you put inside and when you finish your fishing you just take it with you please just do it yeah we'll go to take my fishing rod coming back here and take also a plastic bag so I can clean a little bit down so I got my fishing rod some corn because I saw that seems that locals use corn let's see what the lake has to offer Just a little bit better, just remember, just don't leave these things. Not so much luck so far. Maybe I should wait the lake to dry completely so I can just come here and take the fish with my bare hands. Nothing yet, but as a not professional, I think that I will try the floating as well. Hello, hello. <laughs> So, we got a beautiful sunset, you can see a little bit there, I mean, this land is priceless. Picturesque. And picturesque. Um, so, no fish at the lake, or what remains of the lake, but I got a nice bag, plastic bag full of garbage from other fishermen, actually, so. And he almost got knocked on the head with a rock. Yeah, because somebody was throwing rocks from the top. We're going to wait here until the lake 
dry completely, so I will take them with my bare hands. <laughs> yeah, dry husks of fish or, or oh, amphibians just, that are crawling out of the lake, we like can go early down humans kind of thing. With, with the bucket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Yeah, and it's really difficult here in uh, Spain to find dynamite. Um, I ask around, but not easy to it's find. It's just as difficult finding an open supermarket on a Sunday. Yeah. Domingo, no trabajo. Mm. Yeah, all right. It's coffee time. It's One thousand nine hundred and ten days on the road, living in a van. The sun is up, and a great day just started. So we are now in a town called Teruel, it's kind of middle in size and uh, seems like an old town, it's pretty, just to find the shop for buy a data sim card. So we drove south about 100 kilometers and it was an amazing driving because of the landscape, mainly because in 100 kilometer it changed a lot 
still pretty expensive. So first I check Orange and it's six gigabyte, like prepaid six giga for 15 euro. Then I check another one that it's called Drigo, something like that. It's even more expensive, like 15 euro, four gigabyte, but you actually have to pay 35. Even with the contract, it's like 25 giga for 35 euro a month. And now I will check Vodafone to see what's the best offer for the next 10 days. Let's see. All right, even more expensive. It was like 20 euro, 3.5 gigabyte, 2 euro, 15 gigabytes. So probably I will go again with Orange. So a quick tip, always check also the other company. You never know. And um, best offer was Orange with 6 gigabyte a month for 15 euro. That was the less expensive. here hopefully we can also get out but it's an amazing place to... the river unfortunately it's kind of dry oh you can go down but yeah there's no water at all wow no fishy fishy But I love the place. Into the wild. You like it? Yeah. I'm not sure if we can go back. Ah, shouldn't rain. No, I think I checked the the road and it's fine. I will have to push a little bit the gas, but mm. that's fine. Almost like a canyon. <coughs> Some bones here. Oh wow. <coughs> Maybe Ziggy will play with some bones. The spot it's really nice. I really like just on the cliff. Boom! And uh, Ziggy, we go down with Ziggy to take a look.
lake is. Things pretty deep. Yeah, we're gonna maybe come later with Mel at sunset. So on the way here today, in a really small village, we stopped for some gas and I finally found something that I was looking for and it's give me an M. Give me an O. Give me an R. And a K. We got Mark 2.0. <laughs> wow, I love it. Oh God, I love it. Yeah, it was a kind of long day today. Woke up at four o'clock and it was really chilly this morning and driving and uh, but beautiful roads. I really enjoyed the the landscape while driving. Bell is cooking in the back inside the van. And yeah, we probably stay here tomorrow morning we decide because we have some work to do. Just to not pack and go as the last week pretty much, but just having a morning where we can accomplish something and we need to send some emails and reply to comments and um, talk to clients so and we're gonna travel later in the afternoon we still have probably a uh, hundred kilometers to go to the national park of Cuenca uh, there's another lake there, so Morky is doing pee pee. It's just water. <laughs> Spain but you know some is coming and we know that it's gonna be a nice warm day at least during the day it's really it's really nice we woke up at four in the morning and um, after two hours editing the vlog I realized that my feet were almost frozen <laughs> yeah so in, I think 10 minutes the sun is just behind there we're gonna get some nice and hot sun mm -hmm. 